Do you know what the Grand Slam was? No, it's not a breakfast item. It was an absolute game changer during World War II. The Grand Slam was a colossal 22,000 pound earthquake bomb used by RAF Bomber Command against German targets in the later stages of World War II. You can thank Barnes Wallace, the genius behind the Tallboy Bomb, for this engineering marvel. The Grand Slam was essentially a supersized version of the Tallboy, with a thicker casing and a much more potent Torpex explosive filling. Its baptism by fire, March 14, 1945, against the Arnsberg Viaduct in Germany. The result? Total destruction. The viaduct collapsed, cutting off a vital transportation route for the German army. But that's not all, folks. The Grand Slam was deployed against various other targets in Germany, including the Bielefeld Viaduct, the Dortmund Ems Canal, and even the mighty Tirpitz battleship. Let's break down its specs. A whopping 22,000 pounds in weight, 25 feet in length, and 4 feet in diameter, with a staggering 9,135 pounds of Torpex explosive. It had a range of 12 miles and could hit speeds of up to 600 miles per hour. The Grand Slam was an absolute game changer, one of the most powerful bombs ever used in combat. It was a testament to British ingenuity and engineering during World War II.